Hi, I'm James Bedford. We're here live at the Internet of Things World Forum in Dubai, hosted by Cisco. I'm joined by Sujit Chand, the Senior Vice President and Chief Technology Officer of Rockwell Automation. Rockwell Automation is the world's largest company dedicated to industrial automation and information, making its customers more productive and the world more sustainable. Sujit, thank you for joining me. James, it's a real pleasure to be here at the third annual IoT World Forum in Dubai. Now, we're here to talk about big data and analytics. So tell me, why is analytics and big data important today for industrial applications? Well, as you know, industrial applications, manufacturing and industrial applications, generate more data than any other sector. And uh, all of this data that's being generated in uh, manufacturing and industrial operations, if we can convert this data to information, to knowledge and wisdom, it could truly be transformational for the manufacturing enterprises. Uh, the vision of the connected enterprise, where you take the data from production, from manufacturing, and you tie this data together with data that's in the rest of your enterprise, is truly transformational in the sense that you can now optimize your plants and your supply networks. So analytics is exciting. It's one way to take all of the data that's being generated and convert that to actionable information, knowledge, and wisdom. And of course, data is currency, isn't it? And what role does emerging technologies such as machine learning and the Internet of Things play in big data and analytics? So with the, the greater connectivity that we have with uh, IP-based networks, standard unmodified Ethernet, uh, allows us to leverage a lot of the newer contemporary technologies like cloud mobility, uh, big data analytics, mm -hmm. uh, to crunch and, and work through all the data that's being generated. So uh, when you combine these technologies, these modern contemporary technologies, with a high performance architecture that's built upon ethernet, you can bring the real value of IoT to manufacturing and industrial automation. If we think about skills and skills requirements, what are the new skills requirements for the Internet of Things and big data and analytics? How is that changing in the future? So let's talk about uh, big data for a second. Uh, we do generate a lot of data. It's clearly big data. Mm -hmm. But uh, in, in, the, in the industrial domain, if you process this data as it's being generated in real time, uh -huh. uh, or as Cisco would call it, in the fog layer, you would filter a lot of this data because much of this data is repetitive and uh, you can also derive immediate value from this data by running analytics locally in the fog or on-premise as we call it in, uh, in a manufacturing type setting. So if you run analytics on-premise, you can act on it immediately. Mm -hmm. Now there's some data that you have to move up to the next layer up, which would be in the IT layer or in the cloud layer, and uh, at that level, you could optimize across plants, across oil wells, for example. Yeah. Uh, so there's a, there's a layered architecture that needs to be put in place for analytics. So back to your question about what does it mean for, uh, uh, for expertise, for uh, people who can work with analytics. What it means is, uh, uh, since manufacturing and production environments have such a diversity of applications, whether it's different types of machines or different types of production uh, environments, you need domain knowledge, you yeah. need expertise, you need people who understand the process. So there's going to be a greater need for people who understand manufacturing processes. Yeah, because a lot of data is going to get processed where it's being generated. And then once you move the data up into the next layer, uh, higher layer, whether it's a cloud or IT layer, you would need data scientists, you would need people who can analyze you know, lots of historical data. So we clearly see the need for more domain experts yeah. and people who can analyze data. So big data and analytics really is transforming your workforce as well. You're looking at having data scientists to come into Rockwell Automation to really help you understand the big data and then act upon it in real time. So we see the need for uh, domain experts, people who really understand the processes, yeah. living on premise, and then of course the big data experts who sit at the back end processes and look at a lot of historical data and use uh, techniques such as machine learning, statistical analysis, to make sense of all that data. You mentioned real time, and that's something I find really interesting, how we can get this real time data and act upon it immediately. How is that transforming your industry? 
I think it, it has great potential to transform our industry because today a lot of that data that's being generated is being used for real-time control. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of information embedded in that data. Information such as prognostics, yeah. predicting failures, for example. Information such as energy. So we've got to tap all that information so we can optimize the processes. Now, the quicker you can tap that information, the faster you can act on it. That's why we're excited about uh, analytics being kind of a layered, scalable architecture, yeah. where we do a lot of local analytics in real time, and we also do analytics at a higher level. Cool. Looking to the future, what additional value can we derive from big data and analytics? Maybe how are you helping your customers? So we have several examples of running real-time analytics. So for example, in the oil and gas space, if you look at um, uh, electrical submersible pumps, uh, we now have on-site analytics that run in the controller mm -hmm. that can sense the drill bit vibration and forces on the drill bit. And wow. uh, you can get insights into how well the drilling process is going. So you can make some changes in real time. We also move some of this data into the cloud, so you can now do multi-well optimization. So uh, we have some great examples of how analytics are helping us transform our processes today. Uh, the vision of the connected enterprise, where um, you take data from production and you tie it with data in the rest of the enterprise, is really exciting. It's transformational, it's exciting, because it can result in a very significant impact on productivity, on sustainability, and global competitiveness. Mm -hmm. Suji, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much for your time. Yes, you and uh, I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Yes, thank you. It's exciting. Thank you. I'm glad to be here.